hold up. You're telling me that you can design landing pages and websites right in Canva? Now that is something we need to talk about. Yes, boss ladies, it is true. And that is my reaction when I saw the feature for the first time in Canva 2.0. And now I am telling you, you can make quick, blah, you can make quick web pages right in Canva, which I think is going to be an awesome tool for making a quick landing page. So let's take a look at what it looks like on um, the main Canva page and I'm just gonna type in web and you can see website pops up and we're gonna go ahead and click on that and once this loads you'll see that Canva gives you all kinds of templates to get you started and since we're just kind of getting the feel for creating web pages in Canva I am gonna just start with one of those even though I typically don't work with um, straight from Canva templates so you can see once I clicked on it, then it opened up a variety of different pages that you might see on a site. So I am going to just start adding some in. And let's do the contact page. And so of course you can easily edit this and type in your own information and everything on each page and add in your own photos and own brand colors. The one downside to this is there's no coding, which you might actually see as a plus side. Uh, but because there's no coding and there's no forms, you really can't use these as opt-in pages where the form is built in. You would have to link to an opt-in page or form somewhere else. These could be great for just basic info or even a product page with a buy button. So to publish your site, once you have everything all set, you come over here to publish and you scroll way down almost to the bottom and click website. Now you can see here under web style, if we click on that, we have a few different options. The first one is just gonna create a single page. It's gonna take all three pages that we created here and just stack them right on top of each other where you just scroll down to each sec section. The classic navigation is going to generate some links up top for us. Uh, this is going to turn it into a presentation and uh, this is going to be a single page like the first one but it will also have links that can jump you down to different sections. So we're just going to start with scrolling so we can take a look. Now it is asking me to pay because I have some premium images that were included in the template, but you could always replace those with something else. But there's also a cool preview feature here. So we're going to click preview and it's going to open up our website. And this was the continuous scroll. So now let's see what happens when we click on classic navigation. And you can see it creates separate pages with links up here. And it is pulling the text for the links sh currently straight from the first text in each page or on each page. So if you want that to be different, then you need to come where it says page two, click the little drop down and rename it. So we're going to say this is the about Kate page. And you can see now, if I come back to publish, preview it, you can see it changed the link. Before it was pulling this text, and now that I've renamed it to About Kate, there it is. Now, one thing to note is when you pick a style, it will, and you pay and open your site, it generates a big long link, not too much different from what the preview has. And that link will stay the same even if you come back and edit, as long as you pick the same web style. But if you choose a different web style, then it's going to be a different link. So each style basically has its own link, if that makes sense. But as long as you update it and save it with the same style you previously saved it, it would be the same exact link. So let's go ahead and fully publish this. 
so you can actually see the link. I have some credit here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pay. So you can see there's this link you can copy. I'm gonna go ahead and copy, but we'll also just open it. And this is this big long link. So what I would do if I built some type of landing page here is I would go into WordPress, which is what my site is on. And I'm gonna do that now, so I will meet you in the back end of my WordPress site. Okay, so from here, I would just create a new page. And all we have to do is name the page and set it to redirect to that link. So we will say Canva test one. And then down here at the bottom where it says page links to, we're gonna put in our Canva link. And I just paste it right in because I already had it copied. So you can see it has generated my link, which would be katedanielle.com slash Canva test one. And just in case, if you're not seeing the page links to at the bottom and you are on WordPress, come up to screen options and make sure it is checked. So now that we have that all set up, I'm gonna publish it. And once it goes live, now anyone that comes to this link is actually redirected to the Canva page. So like I said, one way I could see people using this is having um, a product page, a product landing page. But if you had a product page, you probably want to add a button. So let's go ahead and pretend that this is our product page. And I am just going to go ahead and create a rectangle. A little smaller. We'll change it to a pretty bright color. And I'm going to add text that says, buy here put that right on top and to make it more like a button I would actually add a drop shadow and I have drop shadows in my boss lady design kit but you can also snag a, a free one from my blog and I'll be sure to put that link in the comments get this all positioned and then come back and crop it in I do have to hold shift because I'm cropping unproportionately. I'll send this to the back. Move it down a little. And obviously doing the drop shadow is something you can play more around with. But let's move on. So now you need to link your text and your button. So I would link my text and if I, I'm just going to link it to my site for now. this so now I can come and link my actual rectangle okay and now let's come back down to website we'll choose standard this time just so you can see it and see now it can scroll or it can jump to different sections and then here is the button which my internet is being slow, but it is taking you to my page. So you, this could be your product checkout page or whatever um, you have for people to buy your products. So like I said, this is a fun new feature in Canva to play around with. I think it could be great for quick landing pages or even quick wedding pages or shower pages. Uh, you can see here in some of the templates they have are for birthday parties with all the information and things like that. So let me know in the comments below how you might use this feature in Canva and if it's something that you're excited about. Or let me know in the chat or in the comments below if you have any questions or would like to see me explore things deeper with creating web pages and landing pages right in Canva. Be sure to subscribe so you can keep getting more Canva and graphic design tips like this. See you in the next video, Boss